Even the most explicit television shows don't show you what I saw that day. Did she fall out of an airplane? Was she thrown off a bridge? I've received a phone call from Luling, Texas at about four o'clock in the morning. Your daughter's been involved in some incident and she's been life flighted to Kyle, Texas. And you need to come up right away. I'm just praying that she's still alive. My daughter, Kaylee Mandati, was a personality unlike any I've ever encountered. She was a happy, happy person, trusting and always smiling. Hi. Just warm. I don't think I've ever met anybody I could open up to like I did with her. My name is Taylor Ann Clement, and I was best friends with Kaylee Anita Mandati. Is Kaylee really smart? So smart. <laughs> and did she have a good heart? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That girl was full of love. When we walk in and they direct us to the room, and my heart just stopped. I could see that she was on a ventilator. I saw my daughter's body smashed almost beyond recognition. The doctor came in and he just looked at me and he said, she's, she's not coming out of. I just couldn't figure out what could have caused this. And then bits and pieces of the story started to come in. Very quickly, I learned there was a suspect and that this was looking like a murder. Mark met Kaylee about a year prior to her death. He was very involved in athletics, an excellent sportsman. My name is John Hunter, and I'm a criminal defense attorney. My client is Mark Howerton. I think that they're both very beautiful people, and I think that that was the primary attraction. All right, Mark. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. He gave four different statements to the police. She said she wasn't feeling good. I said, well, what's wrong? And she just fell asleep. Was he obsessed with Kaylee? He felt a very deep connection to Kaylee. He knew that Kaylee would be an easy mark, and so he fixated on her. And then when it didn't go the way he wanted, he snapped. Mark was possessive, angry. He was a jerk that doesn't make him a murderer. This is a case where there's more than meets the eye and things aren't always as they seem.